hello friends in this video i am going to show you how to schedule maintenance for the objects that is monitored in scom i am on my scom server and you can see here maintenance schedules so there is no maintenance schedule at this time you can see create maintenance schedule click over there and here you have two options selected objects only and selected objects and all their contained objects so what does it mean selected objects means maintenance is going to apply on the objects that you have selected okay for example if you have selected sql server then it is going to apply only on sql server okay but if you select selected objects and all their contained objects then if you select sql server then it will also select the objects that is contained under this sql server like the sql instances that is running on this server and each instance may have multiple databases so those alerts also going to be suppressed okay so to know what are the contained objects in any object you can let me cancel it and you can go to any object or the object that you want to schedule maintenance for so you can click that and click on diagram view so i have selected sql server and here under sql server you can see these are the contained objects okay and here these are not monitored yet but because the monitors might be not enabled for these but these are the content objects okay so let me close it and again go to maintenance schedules and click on create maintenance schedule so here by default you can see it is selected objects and all their content objects because if we want to schedule any maintenance for domain controller like we are going to install windows updates and that requires reboot so what i will do i will search for it and this is the server and click on add okay so this is the server and i want to suppress all the alerts related to this object okay like uh, uh, it has uh, active directory domain services dns services that is running so those alerts will be also suppressed okay so here i need to change the view to full screen otherwise you cannot see the next button okay so here you can see next button click on next and schedule maintenance mode so you can schedule for one time or if it is daily you can schedule daily weekly like on a weekend you are gonna schedule maintenance so for few objects you want to schedule weekly for few objects you want to schedule monthly and in the monthly you have also option like first monday of every month first sunday of every month okay so there are multiple options to choose to fulfill your maintenance requirement let me select once and here you can see start time so you can provide the start time and end time you can select uh, like 30 minutes one hour or if you want to specify any time you can do that as well and here the schedule is effective beginning so you have to mention the date like once but it should be on saturday so i will select this one okay this date and then there is option the schedule expires on okay that is not visible so let me show you that one as well that is because of the view okay so now you can see this schedule expires on okay so specify end time if you want to schedule for two days you can select from here like i want to schedule maintenance from eight uh, sorry from 18 to 19th okay so you can select like this and uh, click on next here you have to give name like 
weekly dc maintenance okay, let me go to previous and make it weekly okay and saturday and sunday so this is category like it is plant hardware operating system application and you can give comment like if you have any ticket for it and uh, any specific region you can provide and in uh, add remove objects you can select group that i have shown how to create group so you can select a group like because sometimes you, you know you have multiple dc's right you cannot select one by one so that is difficult so you can select group from this list so here you can see web os3 all dc's okay and if i search i can get this group so it will be applied for all the objects that is in web os3 okay let me remove it and click on okay so already explained so click on next and enable schedule click on finish so here we have one maintenance schedule that is not running because next run is 18th september okay and now if i want to edit this maintenance i can edit this maintenance by clicking on edit maintenance schedule and you can disable the maintenance right now if you change your mind you can delete the maintenance like for next uh, few weeks you don't want this uh, dc maintenance so you can just keep it disable and then you can enable it okay and if you know this maintenance schedule is no longer required then you can simply delete this okay here this is the maintenance mode if any server is in maintenance mode you can see this wrench button over here so let me edit this schedule and uh, instead of weekly let me make it once and uh, start it right away click on next finish one minute left to start this maintenance once it is started you can see wrench button over here on the bin dc you can create a views as well to check what are the objects that are in maintenance mode okay okay i, I did one mistake i think i forgot to change the date it should be 13th it takes time to refresh it says 9 18 but it should be on 13 okay so let me check once again and uh, i'm not sure why it's going to be weekly so it is taking next run so what i'm going to do i will delete this maintenance mightwit is not refreshing the console so let me again try this so here you can see it, it should be at least five minutes ahead so i have recreated the schedule the steps are same just it was not picking the correct time because you know i have edited and it is in live environment so it takes time to refresh so i have just deleted that schedule and recreated it okay so there is no issue it is scheduled for 10 39 and it's 10 38 right now meanwhile let me show you you can also start maintenance for any object from here as well like if i want to start maintenance for sql select that object and in right hand side you can see start maintenance mode okay so click over there and select the option it if it is planned you can check on plan choose the category comment and how long you want to enable this maintenance if you want to give any specific time you can select from here okay and click on okay let me cancel it it's 
1039 and let me refresh this page you can see the maintenance is started okay that's why you can see this range here this is how we apply maintenance in scom so here you can see i have recreated the schedule and status change to running okay what i have seen is if you select start time about one or two minutes when you are scheduling the maintenance then scom does not pick that uh, maintenance okay if you want to schedule maintenance right away you can just select the object and click on start maintenance mode okay even you can schedule maintenance for any active alerts like from here you can start maintenance mode okay so this is the same window you are going to get this is all about maintenance schedule in scom and thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one